Hello everyone. Today I'll show you how to create a responsive page in Figma. Before we begin, make sure to ungroup all layers to work efficiently. Select the layers in the middle, then press Shift plus A to apply Auto Layout, or use the Auto Layout button. Next, select all other items in the navigation bar and apply Auto Layout to them as well. To ensure responsiveness, set the alignment to center. Now, if you try reducing the size, you'll notice that the elements respond. However, when you select the desktop frame and move it, it does not fully respond. To fix this issue, select Navigation Bar, set their constraints to left and right. Now, the Navigation Bar is fully responsive. Let's do the same with other page sections. Select the text elements on the left side and apply Auto Layout, Shift plus A. Then, select the text on the left side along with the image on the right side and apply Auto Layout to them together. Set the resizing to Fill Container for both elements. This helps maintain equal spacing between the text and the image. Ensure that individual text elements are also set to Fill Container for consistent spacing. Now you can see that the content adjusts properly. When selecting the entire frame, you might notice that it's not responding. This happens because we haven't applied constraints to the container. To fix this, select the main container, set its constraints to left and right, just as we did for the navigation bar. Now let's adapt the design for tablet view. Open the device options by selecting the frame. Choose the iPad size that fits your needs. Resize the frame to match the iPad dimensions. Increase the bottom size for better spacing. Set the direction gap to vertical layout for a well-structured design. Move the image to the top. It will automatically adjust its position. Delete unnecessary frame. We don't need it. To maintain a well-aligned design, add columns for better layout control. I will use standard alignment options, but you can adjust them based on your needs. To improve visibility, temporarily set the column color to a lighter shade. On tablets and mobile devices, navigation bar's text elements should be placed inside the hamburger menu. Align the navigation bar to the added columns for proper positioning. Once alignment is complete, hide the columns if necessary. Adjust spacing and size between objects as needed. The text size appears too large, so I will reduce it slightly for better readability. Now that the tablet design is complete, let's move on to optimizing it for mobile. Open the device options by selecting the frame. Choose a phone size that fits your needs.
Resize the frame accordingly. Increase the bottom size for better spacing. Remove the frame below, we don't need it anymore. Set a standard column size for mobile to maintain a structured design. Since search is not needed in the mobile navigation bar, I will delete it. You can remove it by selecting it directly from navigation bar or deleting it from the left sidebar. Mobile screens are much smaller than tablets, so I will reduce the image size accordingly. Once alignment is complete, hide the columns if necessary. Adjust the spacing and size between objects as needed. The text size appears too large, so I will reduce it slightly for better readability. Buttons should be larger on mobile for better usability. I will set resizing to Fill Container. This adjustment can also be applied to the tablet version for consistency. Now we have fully responsive design for three devices. Thank you for the watching this video.